Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Would you like to hear a wonderful miracle story? I was listening to a video that someone sent me a link to. So I'm like over here. I hadn't blowed it up. <clears throat> you know, made it full screen. And the lady talking, well, let's just say we didn't agree on things. So, uh... Over here on the right, you know, where you've got your list, if you have a computer, that's how it's laid out, you have a list of other videos you can choose from. And this title just drew my eye and I had to click on it. That other video was like an hour long anyway, and there was no way I was going to watch it. But anyway, this video, the title I saw was 12-Year-Old Drowns. And his sister sings him back to life. I'd like to play just a little bit of it for you. They notice Levi's body floating motionless on the surface of the water. His dad, Jared, quickly made his way to Levi. Uh, I grabbed him. When I, when I grabbed him, he just, he just went under. And, and I immediately pulled him up and flipped him over. And um, whenever I flipped him, he was just... He was blue, purple. He was lifeless. His eyes were bulging and bloodshot. And this boy, 12 years old now, and they've been going there all his life, every year for the 4th of July to this ocean. He obviously knew how to swim uh, well enough to be left alone at 12 years of age. He was right off the beach. But sometimes those waves can be so rough that they can just knock you over. And if you're in the process of inhaling when it happens, there you go. Your lungs are full of fluid. His pupils were fixed. And in maybe a minute's time, maybe if that long, he looked like he had been in that water for a week. Leah, a nursing student, rushed to the water's edge and began CPR immediately as the family and others on the beach prayed for a miracle. You can tell instantly that it's, that it's bad. You can see that he's, there's no life whatsoever. What I saw looked like something that wasn't, that there was no hope for. He was gone, there was no pulse, and I just start rubbing Levi's feet and uh, praying harder than I've ever prayed in my life. I started begging God, and and I remember, I remember in that moment, it, it wasn't. When I look back, it wasn't. A, it wasn't pretty. It was Jesus. I started speaking and, and praying the name of Jesus over him. Jesus, please have mercy on him. And to look at him laying there dead, all I'm thinking was, God, don't you remember making promises to me? God, please, in this in this moment, I've never needed you more. You give and take away, and there's nothing that I can do other than ask you please to change your mind. Within just a few minutes, two nurses who happened to be on the beach rushed to the scene. They joined Leah administering CPR, but hope was fading as time raced by. He's never coming back. That is absolutely what I thought. I thought that he was gone. I mean, we were going, we were going nonstop. We were alternating between pushing his chest and I would give breath. Suddenly, amidst the chaos, a voice rose up in worship as Levi's sister Lily began singing. She started flooding the beach with that chorus, singing, I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm, louder and louder, and I heard the king is alive from a shaky, loud voice. I mean, it was like an electric current from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. I'll never, ever forget it. And I said, worship louder, babies. Sing louder. Worship him as loud as you can. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And it doesn't end there. It goes on to talk about the long ride to the hospital and the doctor that worked with him. And it was it's, this is just a miracle flat up. That boy was, of course, they're reenacting. You don't, I doubt anybody really stood there filming it, but... <clears throat> The boy in this reenactment, I'm going to call it, uh, was purple. 
they showed him purple. This had 1,865,318 views. Can you believe 799 people gave this a thumbs down saying, I don't like, I just like this. They don't believe God can, cre can bring a boy back to life. Well, whatever. I hope you'll watch it and that you'll enjoy it. It's just another, you know, Jesus said, greater things than these shall you do. I know, I know, I know that when the first fruits raptured, the harvest army, I call us, comes back in our glorified bodies with our heavenly armor that nothing can penetrate. No one will be able to hurt us. No one. No thing. We will be doing this and so much more. Bringing people back to life. I just know it. I know it in my heart. So, with that, I'll just say, bye for now. I will talk to you later. I do pray you enjoy this and that it puts another big smile on your face. All right, bye-bye for now. I'll talk to you later.